Rashid Wallace. That's hilarious. Weed. Yeah. Weed. What? I'm Tyler. Why are we here? Ooh. <laughs> In the building, yo. You know what I'm saying? Hey. It's, it's, it's good things, special things going on today. It's me, the boy, She Wallace. Welcome to the She Wallace and Tyler Show. We got my man Bonzi Wells up in the building. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And got my man Ty Ty Tyler? Ty oh, Tyler right here. You know what I mean? Oh, Three. Yeah. Four. Five. five you want to join in with the NBA six, action with us and the underdogs. Promo six, code She. Seven. You will get up to $100 on your first month deposit match. Promo code she, how many is it? You did it. That was like six. Oh, God. Oh, my God. God. That's how we doing it out here How about today. them Hawks? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's how we doing it today. <laughs> <laughs> I bet on the Hawks. Just like that. You know what I mean? Hey, he had to pay his debt. So we going debts paid on the spot in front of everybody. We ain't worried about that. Ain't none of that embarrassment stuff. So, hey, Tyler. <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> As a reminder, you can get audio versions of Sheed and Tyler every episode on Apple, Spotify, <laughs> wherever you get your podcast. How we feeling, boys? I'm feeling awesome. How are you feeling? Tired. Bonzi, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling like I got, a, I, I got a good record calling them games. I got a great record calling them games. I got a great record. How, how, how you feeling? <laughs> Burning. You feel the burn? Burning. Uh... We'll get to that later. I thought you might forget. Like when you came in, I was like, don't say nothing to Bonzi. <laughs> don't nobody say nothing to Bonzi about it. And maybe he'll forget, but you didn't forget. No, I don't. Uh, I couldn't wait to see you. Actually, I've been thinking about you since I lost. So Hey, yo. Uh, I know that's tough, but. Watching the game and everything. Anyways. I should have paused that. <laughs> <laughs> we have a video we discussed from yesterday, boys. <sighs> it involved you. What video Mr. You Wells, it was you and Christopher Mills. Oh, you found it. <laughs> they were able I to find I known. that they video. Look, oh, look at that's, can... that's young with hair, be wheezy, man. Come on, man. Wait, <laughs> come on. We have the video. And, I, and look, hold up, could we go? Uh oh, so that's uh oh. Yeah, talk us through this. What's what are we seeing? So if you go back, it was with. <laughs> that's funny. If you go back. She had just hit the three, two, one shot. So the play was for she. The play was for Rashid and. Was, and my job was to, when he shoot it, try to go for the offensive rebound. And me and him just got tied up and kind of kind of pushed each other a little bit. So I want to go celebrate with them. And look, the whole time we celebrating, we see they got my man all surrounded and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who's that assistant coach? Who got you out of harm's way? I, I don't know who that I don't know exactly who take that, that was. Take that back one more time. Man, that's crazy. So He got a stern grip on you. Yeah, he had he had, he had, he, had, he had a grip on me. That Jimmy he got locked up in it. But, like but you see uh you see Rube right there, you know Rube Patterson, the dog, Z the manimal, Big Dale Davis, you know all the guys, you know all the people that I expected or I needed definitely in that moment to be front line. I felt comfortable. <laughs> 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 but yeah, we this probably could have been the first Malice in the Palace cuz it's just cuz you know so now we got to go through that tunnel to the left up under the basket. So we all we already into it with the players. Zebo, Zebo, I see Bo Da yeah. walking in the back. Look, she, oh, look at this goon. Now, now she going crazy because he into it with whoever. Yeah, I'm who are you going after right I, there? Hell if I know. <laughs> I, I, I'm mad. I'm probably mad. I missed missed the initial altercation and didn't appreciate they had my guy surrounded. You seen you seen me, Pit Rude. We over there all celebrating. You know what I'm saying? They they about to go in on my guy. I'm like, no. Yeah, so <laughs> Mo Cheeks trying to no avail. Zebo peacemaker, Derek Anderson peacemaker. So, so now we trying to get out. They trying to get out. I think I'm already gone. They trying to get out. <laughs> now they start. Now that's that's when the throwing and all the stuff happened. I look at she. There you go. Somebody hit him. Somebody hit him in the head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Had to do the guy on the show. He said, "Hey man, he hit him in the head." Man, it was it, it was wild. So then in the tunnel, you know, <laughs> we they still trying to come out. Who was that they had? Was that you they got down there, she? Shit. Was that you? <laughs> you already know that ain't happening. <laughs> Who was that they threw? I, I can't tell. So where are you in the, you already in the locker room or are you still heading? No, we all, we all right there. They, everybody's trying to shovel us back into the locker room. <laughs> mm. All the security, our team security. So yes, yeah, so all I'm doing is trying bucket. to- Bucket! I'm just trying to get the rebound. Eh. That was a bucket. No, I'll give you something. 
<laughs> look, so I I wanted to go jump. I wanted to go celebrate, and man, it just like I said, I don't I didn't know, dude, but it was it was crazy. You boxed him out or something? He didn't like you celebrating? Well, honestly, when you do the five four three two one shot, you at least try to shoot it with enough time for us to maybe get an offensive tip or something like that. And I'm right. a pretty good offensive rebounder for my for my position. So I was just like, if Steve, if Steve missed it, let me try to get up under there. And that's just when he was talking to me. I mean, he was, you know, and that's just when it kind of got, it was, it was totally my fault yeah, because yeah. I could have just probably pushed him off of him, but I did swing first, and it just is what it is. This is your rookie year, or what year was this for you? I'm probably like my third, I'm probably my third, fourth year by then. And nobody remembers your game winner because of it. Nobody remember the game winner. I do. I remember that game, man. She it was funny as shit. That's what sparked it. I think man, like, like, hey, real talk. He could, he was so heated with Bonzi on some shit. He couldn't even wait till after the game. <laughs> but as soon as that shot went, right, soon before the horn ended, he was from the video. Him and Bonzi on the line. But you know, it's crazy. I think me and she both had about you know high twenties and thirties apiece. And I don't even think Chris Mills played that game. I think he they just put him in for that last possession. Mm. So maybe he has some stuff going on. You know, I, I get it. You know, I done been a vet on the bench, frustrated and all that stuff. So I get it. But like I said, I don't know, dude. And it just really escalated. And it Quickly. Probably, it, it definitely did because I did swing on him. I yeah. did swing on him first. Yeah, you, you're I did, like, I did, okay. I did, I did, okay, I did. Nah, I, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I think that would escalate any escalated. situation. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? More like dealing with grown not. men. Yeah. But I appreciated my guys having my back. They had your back. No, no, man. So they ready to fight the whole arena. Man, that's when I was like, man, I'll do anything. For oh, you. man. That, that's hey. when we really got tight. We really was like, really tapped in. So what did, were there suspension fines from this? Man, I got I got like three games, four games, something like that. That's not bad. Yeah, I got like three, four games. I think he got a game or two. Mm. And that was it? Nobody else from either side? Well, it wasn't nothing heavy. It's like because the game was over. You can't say leaving the bench. The game was over. Yeah, yeah it wasn't so, nothing too heavy. I think I got at least three games. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. See, look, I'm just trying to get, you know, he on my back. I'm just trying to get to it. And it just kind of, you know, this wasn't what it was. Mm. Good time. Good time. Good time. Keeping <laughs> your head above water. <laughs> we had some good games last night. Mm -hmm. Somebody 76ers got the dub 105-104 over Miami. Yeah. Philly moves on. They'll play the Knicks in the first round. Fact. That's gonna be that's gonna be a good series. Yeah. I wish I wish Jay Randall was playing, so then mm. that way, you know. You know, I'm sorry for saying this, but for all the, you know, Knicks fans out there, but yeah, I gotta roll with my 7-6 cat. So <laughs> you going with the upset? Oh, I got to. Got to. And I know, you know what I mean? I know uh Jay Brunson, that's my young fella. You know, I got a lot of young bulls that play on both sides, mm. right? So I'm like, all right, y'all, I hope y'all do good, get y'all numbers and things like that. But I gotta roll with my sixers. I <laughs> look, he like, no, nah, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I does not. He's going like against that. his uh, Knicks. So <laughs> No, I gotta I gotta roll with my Sixers, but um no, they played a good game last night and came up with big stops and big shots when we needed it. Batum had twenty, his yeah. six threes. Yeah. I thought yeah, big shots. I thought it was big. I mean, they have been hard on him and Tobias Harris. And, Hell yeah, you know, especially you know, Tobias. Philly is a hard yeah. place to play in. You gotta be you gotta be on your stuff to play in Philly. And they've been hard on them guys, but to see them have that success, man. Yeah. That's just like, you know, what like we say, that's just a pro staying ready. Mm -hmm. You know, just ready for his moment, you know, and he hit the shots and he probably you know, most he, he won the game for you guys basically, you know. And B played well, Maxi played decent, but Tobias Harris, I mean not Tobias Harris, uh Batum played great. Batum, yeah, yeah, uh, but, yeah he great. did again, hit big shots yeah. when we needed him. Big can we expect that anymore during the playoffs? Man, I hope so, but <laughs> the, I mean that's... you he's a veteran. Yeah. You know, Batum's been in the league for a minute. Of course, I think that's one of the reasons they brought him there for his veteran locker room leadership, but now he's gonna have to express more of it out there when he get on that floor because that's what it's about. Everybody mm. gotta pick it up when the big fella hurt a little bit. You know how you got to. That's what I was saying everybody the other gotta day. Step they rose up, definitely. I'll say they had 27 points combined from Tobias, Kelly Oubre, Buddy Hill last night. You mentioned like decent game from Maxi, mm. and Bede still coming back, had a solid game. Yeah. But do we think Philly has enough for like a deep run, like conference finals run? I won't say winning the championship. Bro. I wouldn't say win in the East. Do we think they have what it takes for an Eastern Conference Finals run? Bro, I told y'all. I told y'all the other day, my thoughts aren't going to change. I love my Sixers, but this year we aren't built for being a championship team. 
We're not just gonna the settle. Finals, though. We ain't just settling for no fucking conference finals. They haven't we made the conference finals that. since AI, I think. No, we not, but still, why settle for the conference finals? You know, we want the chip, but this year again, I don't think that we have the team for it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's one of those, and the opportunity is closing mm. for the big fella, but it's one of those where, look, again, what we've been saying about uh Boston, you gotta go through your lumps. And and that team that they got playing now, you know, we got a new coach and we got a couple new players that came in. So now as that collective group, yeah, we're going to take our knots on the head, but it's going to be hard. But I'm not saying that, um, you know, I don't think we can't do it, but it's going to be hard. We just don't have what it takes to go that far, in my opinion. You think they got conference finals? Because I think the case is, if you think they can get through the Knicks, the second round is the winner of Bucks Pacers. We'll talk that later, but it seemed like y'all high on the Pacers. If you think Philly is a good matchup for the Pacers, that's conference finals right there. Boston is a different monster, but you wouldn't see them until man, the conference they, finals. They, they, it's too many young boys. They run. They up and down. Pacers Ooh, up and Pacers. down. I mean, if they get there. I don't want to get Bucks, caught up Pacers, in. Pacers, we'll see. But we can't get caught up in that track meet because MB can't run that track meet. Mm -hmm. He can't, and they're going to take advantage of that shit. I already know. It's simple basketball. If, if, we are, if we are a fast running, high paced team and you got a big man who can't keep up with it, hey, push that motherfucking rock. 100%. I'm going to take the Knicks in that series. I just feel like the Knicks are playing at an unbelievable level. Jalen Brown is, I mean, Jalen, sorry, sorry, nephew. Jalen Brunson is playing out his mind right now. I don't think, Enjoy your and I think with, with, I mean, they still been playing well without Julius Randle. I think they're going to be a team kind of like we talked about yesterday with Edie. Let let MB score all the points, and we just stop the rest of the guys. And I think that's the, the mindset the Knicks gonna play with. But I'm, I'm gonna take the Knicks seed. I'm sorry. I mean, I love you, brother. But oh no, it's cool. This is what it is. Bet five dead cockroaches. <laughs> For people who aren't familiar, what are what's betting all dead right. cockroaches? So you know, <laughs> one one of the things you know, some cats like to bet money. You know, we we throw that out the window because it's more fun. Some cats like to do push-ups, like y'all saw my man Ty doing the push-ups to open the show. So it's this one thing we got called dead cockroaches. So if I lose a bet, <laughs> and let's say if I lose the bet to Bonzi, right? So, and we somewhere in a restaurant or something, and I owe him a couple of dead cockroaches, and he be like, yo, can I get two dead cockroaches real quick? And I'm like, all right. So I got to go like this. I'm a dead cockroach. I'm a dead cockroach. I'm a dead cockroach. Man, you crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. You can break them up so you can get two now, two later. You, hey, like it, it all depends one. on what he's saying. In five years. If, like, if, no, no. It's, you know, it's a time limit. Wedding like, day. Man. Like, man, let me get that last. No, you got to do it before the, before the next bet. But it's a it's time crazy. limit. But I'm telling you, dog, that's that's more fun than money if you ask me. Bet, bet the fire. Bet the fire. Bet the five. Let's go, big fella. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. What's he need to do in this series, MB? Be him, get down there on them blocks. Um, I love my man Mitch Robinson. That's my young fella, but Mitch not big enough. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think they have nobody big enough to stop MB. It all depends on that same theory you just said a second ago. If they let him get his yeah. and then try to slow, Everybody else down, you know, the Oubre's, the Platoons, the mm -hmm. Tobias Harris's. If they try to slow Maxi, if they try to slow those guys down, yeah, you know, but we know when B going to get his. They got his first game higher, uh, higher lower points, 29 and a half. Really? You think that's how you feel about that, low or high? Only for game one, 29 and a half for Embiid. Man, that might be low. I'm going to go higher than that. Where, who got so the Knicks got the home court in the garden? That's why I have home Everybody court. Everybody play different in the garden. I'm gonna go higher than 29. I'm gonna go higher than 29, 29 too, man. He, if he stay, if he stay out there healthy, because you know he just one mm -hmm. little little tweak away from you know what I'm saying having a setback, and you know you don't want that. I don't want to wish that on young fella. Let me knock on wood. For sure. But you know what I'm saying. But this in reality, you know that's a, that's what scares me about Philly. That because you know this resting on that. You know you holding right. your breath every time he do something. So it's like. Oh man, I don't want to live my playoffs, my playoff life like that, and you know, hoping that he don't hurt himself. So I'm a, mm. but that seemed kind of low. If he stay healthy, that's low. 29, he gonna get 40 on them. I mean, it's you know, Mitchell Robinson. They got Hartenstein's a good backup center. Tibbs, a defensive coach. So if the strategy is to either, I guess you could either say, yeah, let him, let him get his, shut down everybody else, or do you want to try to force out of his hands early 
and make Batum nah. score 20 four but times out of seven. But he still make can make Ubre plays. He still can make he make shots. Like, you can't even do the hack-a-shack shit against him. Right. Because, you know, shooters, Embiid yeah. is a good uh, good foul shot shooter. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting to see what Tibbs do at that whole uh, defensive scheme yeah. that he has for Embiid. We're going to see. On the flip side, how do we think they match up on the Knicks side? Like, you mentioned Randall's out. Hey. For me, first round, this is one of the great matchups, though. Yeah. Maxi and Jay Brunson, mm. two two young young guys with two different styles of yeah. basketball game. You know what I'm saying? But both of them exciting to watch, though. I fucks with both of them. Yeah. I'm, I fucks with both of them, too. But I think I'm going to take Brunson in that matchup because he, right. he just played like a vet. Like, he's been in the league 10, 12 years. He's going to get to his spots, he, you know, change the speeds. It's crazy. He see it. You know, it's like the game slows down for him. I love Maxie's young boy energy, and he got that pop to him. That bounce. But you know what I'm saying? But dude just kind of so methodical the way hey, he get to his spots and uh-uh and step throughs and all that, you know, step backs and all that stuff. So yeah, I like that matchup. But you know who I like in this series? My wild card for them, for the Knicks? I love Josh Josh Hart. Man, he plays mm. so much bigger than what Oh, that's the, yeah, that's defense. Man, he defense. He might he might get 20 boards. He only see my size. He about six, mm -hmm. well, about six five, six six. Well, hit you the play bigger than what he is. Grab rebounds, lock up. He's tough. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, he, I like him. You know what I'm saying? I like him. He he remind me of just a bigger John Starks for New York. Like just kind of that energy. He mm -hmm. plays hard. He the people love him. You know he does all the he does. That, all the, well, that's why the people love him. Oh man, right. he, he hangs his hat on defense. Yeah, yeah, you know Starks wasn't no big guy, but you know what I'm saying. He playing against Jordan. Him, you know Starks probably was six one, six two, six three maybe. You know he playing against bigger twos, and you know he fought every night. That's why I love Hart, man. Hart, he he he's gonna be the wild card in this series for me. We think they have enough like creation outside of Brunson. Like if he has a cold night, or they commit to keeping the ball outside of his hands. Can Hart run the offense? Can Ananobi? Can DiVincenzo, who's been shooting it great? Yeah. But we think they can like They'll facilitate have offense. DiVincenzo at point. Oh, they got that one kid. What's his name? McBride. McBride's McBride, playing McBride. well. McBride's playing great, man. He got. Yeah, Cat's gonna have to step up. Yeah, I like McBride. It's that time, I like especially because look, who's gonna make up for what the I think the 23, 24 points that Julius Randle has. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna you know you got to get Cats to make up for that? Yeah. Not necessarily one person. Right. But. You know, two, three people, yo, we're going to have to make up those same points that we missing with him. I think. Well, I don't know how many games. What? I mean, for the year, actually, he's done. Yeah, he's yeah. done. See, DiVincenzo been playing well. Hope mm -hmm. I said his name right. Yeah. Um, OG Adenobi, you know, he's he's just starting to get his rhythm again. I mean. Who? OG. I, this OG. Now, you had it right. <laughs> <laughs> this OG. I, I thought he was trolling me. I ain't going to say it twice. I, I, yeah. I've, no, been, I practicing, know, I've yeah. been practicing in my mind all day on how to say their names correctly. So, but yeah, but I, I really, I really like his game, man. Like dude can hoop, you know what I'm saying? He's tough, you know what I'm saying? He plays both sides of the ball, you know. We love that. We love two way players, mm -hmm. you know. So man, I, I got it. Like I said, I'm sticking to the Knicks because they got they got more X factors. I think that, that, that that's that's ready. I'm hungry. Yeah, we're gonna see. It's gonna be a good series. And, and the thing about it, like I said, it's a good rivalry. It's only what an hour and a half train yeah. ride. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that just <laughs> just adds to it. Mm. We had another game last night. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if anybody watched the other game last night. The Bulls and the Hawks play. <laughs> Was it a game? We don't really have to talk about this if y'all don't want to. Was it a game? Well, Kobe White had a great game. I don't want to sell him short. He was balling. Who was he killing? I forget. Mm. Uh, it was a team effort. It's a mm. team, team defense. Um, <laughs> Man. So it kind of sort of looked like what I said yesterday. We both kind of. About how, you know, I would take Reggie over Trey and, you know, that kind of. I thought he said Bobby Jackson. No, no. But I mean, but all the Jacksons. Any Jackson, Jackson. Michael yeah. Jackson, <laughs> Tito Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Any Jackson. Come on. Jermaine. Samuel Jackson. Oh, shit. Oh, they, it's not Jermaine. Hey, listen here. Man, come on. I like really? the young fella, but I can't. In crunch time, no. To me, Trey is a, is a good player, but he's always going to be a good regular season player. That's just how I feel about the situation. So what do the Hawks have to? I don't know what they're going to do. That ain't my problem. I'm a Sixers fan. Yeah, hey, I got y'all own problem. <laughs> Where do you think the Hawks go from here? I feel like they do have to pick a I'm Obviously, not even saying which one it is, but I do think they have to pick a Trey or DeJounte. This fit hasn't worked. I mean, you know, I said you said, you, I said it yesterday. Like they're gonna have to get rid of they're gonna have to get rid of one of them. And Trey is probably you're gonna get the the most out of your buck for him. Mm -hmm. I think he's what on his second year of the Supermax or third he's, year. Yeah, he's got a couple years left. Yeah, so you know, somebody a trade for him is superstar for superstar. He got I think Sometimes both or, both him and the organization, after so many years of 
now you know what's this like his fifth sixth year now something like, like that, that. Yeah. So in that neighborhood we have so many years of like right. man we ah, we Four ain't did it we, like we done made it we, we we did make it we right there nine and ten like sometimes the organization need to break up with you and you need to break up with the organization and have a fresh start and sometimes it'd be like that. Like, it ain't no disrespect to nobody, but right. maybe this, it didn't work. Maybe Because they done tried to shuffle in pieces here with him best they possibly could once the salary cap, but it's not working. So why don't they just go ahead and trade him, get the most that you can so you don't wait for the decline if it ever does happen, and right. then you can't get as much as you possibly, you know what I'm saying, that you could. You, a few you're going to get Murray for the low. Yeah, a couple years earlier. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I love Trey Young's game. You know, he's he a baller, but... You might as well trade him now and you can go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off. Yep. It's been the talk. Like, Lakers, where do we think? It's been some talk. Like, yeah. Spurs, because the Spurs have some Hawks picks for the DeJounte trade. Mm-hmm. The Lakers have been mentioned with Trey. The Nets have been looking for a star. He can't He can't go to that. Why? I don't know. Why? He got to go somewhere with another superstar, too. Like, the Spurs would be good. Him and Wimby would be a good, him and Wimby would be a good, be a good match. Well, you say he shouldn't go to L.A.? I mean, depending on who's going to be in L.A. still. No, I mean, you figure Braun and A.D., no, they would trade he's outside. Not, you no, think he's so? not going to L.A. for the simple fact. Braun, A.D., and, and the vets, cats on that team, even some of the coaching staff, is not going for them bullshit fucking 55-foot shots. TV team. Maybe that's what he need, though. Nah, well, yeah, maybe. That's what I'm saying. Could be, but I know they ain't going for that shit. I know D. Ham ain't going for that shit. What, we Ooh. playing down here on defense? for the whole shot clock and might have got a good turnover or something <laughs> like that, and you want to hit a little hesitation and go one, two across half court, <laughs> and Jack, no, eh, eh, I'm. <laughs> Would you swing on him if he was your teammate? No. No, I wouldn't swing on him because eh, at the end of the day, I still need him, but <laughs> that motherfucker going to know how I feel, though. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. I'm out here working too hard. Especially if I'm guarding a dude who the man and he getting mad shots, multiple shots down the other end. Yeah. And you fucking this up. You ain't even got nobody down in the rebound. You wouldn't say nothing to him? Huh? You already know I would. <laughs> Come on, stop. Trey, could you please stop, yeah. dude? I really I said it to you. you. You know, when I said, you know, I felt that you were shooting too much. Hey, Bonzi, stop shooting. Pass the ball. You ain't hitting shit. He's like, okay, she. <laughs> I do it. Is that how it went? Hell that's yeah. my vet, man. Probably, you know, it didn't go like that. But that's my vet, man. I respect my vets. Him, him and Dame. No, nah, when you hang with people long enough, you know they looks. So him right. and Dame them had them looks. Ah, <laughs> shit. On, I know well. what that means. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Or, or oh. Zebo be like, man, shit. Let me touch that ball one time. Come on, big dog. <laughs> big brother, yeah. touch that ball one time, big bro. Like, yeah, like, my God. <laughs> so Bo get the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, it's it's always like that. You know, it's. But see, the young fellas on that team really couldn't say nothing because he was He's the, the star, star of the right. team. Yeah. But now, if he goes to another team, that's going to have some... Like like I said, that Laker team... I, I think that could be good for both sides. Yeah, if if they get in and say, hey, dog, we need you to take a sensible three. Right. Don't, and, and make sure we got some fucking rebounders up under the rim. You know what I'm saying? We know AD's a good rebounder. They got Hachimura. He likes to crash the boards. Dog, make sure we got somebody up under the rim before you before do. you take a regular three. If I swear to goodness, dog, shoot that fifty-five footer if you want to. You're gonna be right here with me. That's what mm. coaches used to say. Like, shoot that fucked up shot again. Mm. You're gonna be right here. Wow. Now you're right, dog. I think Chess said Clippers. Yeah, can we get a? Where should? Where would Trey go? I think Trey would be the one that they trade now. Like you said, for the value. Got gotcha. Play. Well, if 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 he did go to the Clippers, is he coming off the bench or he starting? Well, Harden's a free agent is the thing. No, so if they, Hart, they going they wouldn't bring Hart. I mean, but if he, but if he if leaves, Harden came to Atlanta. Whew, could you imagine? No, not Atlanta? to Atlanta. No, no, they going to keep. I think they going to keep him. I, in they that probably way. will, but he's so he's a free up, agent. You never PG's know. PG's up too, right? Mm-hmm. Kawhi's the only one of the three. He resigned. Yeah. PG can be a free agent. He going to resign. Harden can be a free agent. Yeah, he's not going to suffer him to leave home. You think Harden would leave? No. That's what I'm saying. If they do get Trey, like he's going, Trey going to have to come off the bench because you already know what you're getting. Not coming off no bench, man. Dog, you already know what you're getting from Harden. Can't have 200 million on the bench. That's what I'm saying. He what not, you mean? He not coming off the that's, bench. Hey, that's how that's how it be though. In his seventh uh, year, I don't years? care. All star, all NBA. Do you want to win or not? If he Let's come off the bench, make your point more valid. No, I know it doesn't, but I'm saying if I'm coach, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Do you want to win or not? That's they. That's 
a way better playoff team, championship caliber team than the one he's on now. So it's going to come to your man. Hey, yo, you want to chump this shit? We're going to bring you off the bench. You could get six man in the playoffs, all that bullshit. But well, no, I already got my core three that's giving me minimum 80 points a game between the three of them. No. You come, you won't come off the bench. You're not gonna fuck up that core for me. He'd be like, I'd rather stay in Atlanta and get my numbers for real. Well, all right, we see. Yeah, you watch us in the playoffs then. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Might be in San Antonio with Wimby. Ben, ben yeah, and still, even if he go with fuck with Wamba Wamba, he's still gonna come up short. Trust me, it's not fun being in Cancun mid-April. <laughs> I can't talk about it. I, 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 hey, well, you can know. get the good deals. I don't know. Yeah, I'm saying, if you get tan in. Yeah, yeah if, if you book, yeah. you know what I'm saying, late March, you know what I'm saying? Like we the 13th like, Yo, Yeah, oh, yeah I'm, I want four bedrooms, me and the family coming oh, down man. there. So you know them teams that ain't got no hopes of the playoffs? Shoot. Already for the Three weeks for the season over, they sending their cars home, they doing... So the Hawks players last night was already, like, confirming their plans, like, we... Oh, I, gu I guarantee you. We're on our way to the airport. For, for the guys on that team who has, like, a serious girlfriend or a wife, you know what I'm saying, fiance, whatever the status of their lady is, and with kids, mm. I guarantee you half of them flights was booked last night. <laughs> mm. Hey, go ahead and press that confirm. I know you got that package already waiting. Just go ahead and press right, the we, confirm. We're down 12 at halftime, yeah, boy. Go ahead yeah. and press that package. Yeah, we... Um, trust me. Hey, trust you, me. you sitting in the stands, you know what I'm saying? You got the family section over yeah, there. You look at the score, and then you look at your wife like... <laughs> right. It's time. Run that. Poll is in. 60% of the people say Spurs. 21% say Stay, 17% other, 1% Clippers. So overwhelming trade with the Spurs. Like you said, with Wimby, like to cover up for his defensive issues, he could set Wimby up the easiest lobs he ever had in his life. Oh, yeah. So. Well, it, it, it'll be, if, if he does go there, he'll have the same freedom that Tony Parker had. I was about to say, he is Tony Parker just with a jump shot. Yeah, he'll have the same freedoms, because look, Back then when we were playing and, you know, Tony Parker do all that dribbling shit. Now, yeah, we could stop that shit. But then whoever step up, if I step up, well, damn, Tim Duncan got Dropping it Dropping it off, yeah. If if the uh, Sabonis step up, oh, damn, David Robinson got a dunk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If somebody else come from the corner, oh, shit, Bonzi come from the corner, oh, shit, three. Ginobili got a three. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you got to stay home. So that's the type of team that I think the Spurs are best at building. That's how Pop does. Yeah. Yeah, that's 100%. how Pop does. That'll be the best bet for him. 100%. I do want to give you a chance to go off uh, for your boy Kobe White. 42 points. Who? 15 to 21 shooting. Where do you go to school? I, I don't know. I don't have that information. Did he go to Ball State? I think so. I think it was Miami of Ohio. I know Ball State yeah. wish Kobe White did go to Ball State. <laughs> No, talk your shit. UNC guy, yeah, UNC, Kobe White. Hey, no, he did his thing. He had, had a good game. It was, um, it was a good matchup, and it was a back and forth, but eventually Chicago stepped on that gas. They wanted it a little bit more, and now, shit, here we are. Here we like, are. boy, I, I tip my hat to them. They played a good game last night. Mm. We think Kobe White is in the lead for, like, most improved player? Like he's in that mix. Gotta be. Tyrese Maxey's in that mix. Uh, he got he gotta be in that mix. I mean, you know, yeah. first couple of years he was kind of you know up and down, like you expect younger guys mm -hmm. doing. He, was, he I don't know how big he is, but he, but he's don't seem like he's six, six three, five, six four. Yeah, is he? Okay, but I didn't know if he was gonna make it to you know what I'm saying. You don't know if some guys gonna make it to that next contract when they you know expected a, you know a lot of expected of them. They have them kind of yo yos, but mm -hmm. I'm, I I respect the fact that he stuck to it. You know, got over that hump and then took his game to another level. You know, you got to respect that now. To get 42 in the playoffs, everybody ain't got 40 in the playoffs. But it's crazy that they don't even count towards none of the records. How crazy is that? They don't count for regular season. They don't count don't for count playoffs. Towards nothing. This so he like just a... scored 42 in this game that doesn't yeah. exist. What game? Doesn't even yeah, exist. Yeah, it, <laughs> it never <laughs> happened, <laughs> essentially. Doesn't what game? Uh, <laughs> so now we got Miami and Chicago yeah. in the play-in game. But we got the word Jimmy Butler sound like he's going to be out for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. MCL. Was it the yeah. MCL? They said they think okay. it's an MCL. Uh, so if they, you know, advance, stay in and maybe win a round or two, maybe he could potentially come back. But it's sounding like he's definitely wow. out for the Chicago game. Yeah, that's tough. That, 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 that that's def tough. They definitely need him. And then what's the, uh, like, with, with Rozier? He's hurt. Well, he was—he well. didn't play in the playing game. He'll be a game time decision. Right. Duncan right. Robinson's game saying. time they, decision. They, they need him. They need him. Yeah, um, wow. They only need Bam to step up. 
I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna still roll with Miami in that series. I got to roll with my big fella Bam. Um, you know what I'm saying? I think he's going to step over that extra mile to make sure that they do, no matter if they already know Jimmy Butler down. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they get Rozier and uh, Robinson back. But he knows, like, look, he's the he's the main centerpiece. Hey, this is what we're going to have to do. Yeah. You know, now it's time for Bam to step up. Bam got to be aggressive. Him. Step up. Look, no matter if it's on the offensive end or defensive end, but got to step up. They got his higher or lower points, 20 and a half Who, points Bam? for Bam, game one. Feels like he going to need, if they're going to compete, in eight, or not even game one, this is maybe the last game yeah, that they lose. Say, so. What the series you talking about? They're playing the one game. Yeah, I was going to say, right? for the Chicago, so excuse yeah, me, game one, 20 and a half for that. What do we think? I think more. I think Chicago's going to beat them. I just think, think so? Yeah, 100%. 100%, man. The Bulls looked really good yesterday. They'll have no Caruso, though. Caruso played yesterday. It, he got he hurt. Came. Yeah, he hurt back. his foot. So. He came back. But no, nah, you ain't see what happened. He got a double whammy. His yeah. foot and his knee. Big Dre Drummond. Oh, man. So, he, yeah, he's going to be out for this game as well. That hurts him. Does that change your... No, I'm a Midwest mm-hmm. guy. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay Chicago, but just anything to offset him as well, though. So sure, how that go? So, <laughs> hey, 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 we gotta, hey, we gotta hey, get some division hey. in the room. <laughs> On the other side, we got the Sacramento New Orleans matchup, the Western Conference playing. <clears throat> like go. the beam, baby. Like the beam. Like the beam, baby. Will the beam be lit? No Zion. Yeah. Man, like that beam. Do they have a, does New Orleans have a chance though? We talked Ingram the other day. Yeah, it's, I mean, we still, I still haven't found out what was the, what word? the whole deal with that. I, I was looking for it. I didn't, I didn't see anything. It's been nothing yet, but again, they still have this game. If he goes off with this game, nobody really remembers the game one of the playoffs. They'll be in, or the game one of the play in. He's, yeah, he's at 19 and a half hopefully, points. Hopefully, man, that's shit. I wouldn't even bet on that. That's questionable. Yeah. Real. Especially after not hearing. From the coach, the nobody, was. yeah. Why his minutes was chopped like that? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm not, I'm not betting on that one. I can't. I'm yeah. Stay, I'm staying sack town on that one. Yeah, I, I got it with him. Light the beam. Got light the beam on that one. Light the beam. <laughs> what you think? I don't. Yeah, let's get a poll going. Who does chat think? I, I want to think Ingram steps it up, and some of the young guys that look good when they had Ingram and CJ struggling, step it up. This game is in, where's this game at? Who's the higher C? It's in New Orleans. Does that change, that doesn't change y'all's? No, because they, they, I mean, I, I love Brandon Ingram. I think, oh. to me, he's the face of the franchise, even though I know they got it Zion, but. What? What? Man, you tripping. man, no, I'm not tripping. You think he's the face of the franchise? Man, you, hey, all you got to do is look at his stats, the things that young boy been doing over the last few years. That nigga ain't getting no max motherfucking contracts for nothing. You say what you want. Bond, say what you want. And y'all about to pick against him. Huh? And I on. mean, I mean. You call him the face of the franchise with Zion there? Dog, what is Availability, what? right? Zion hasn't been playing. He hasn't been playing. I ain't seen Brandon Ingram on one billboard, one commercial. Exactly. But but look at the stats. You said the face. The, we ain't talking about the face. We're talking about the face of the franchise. Dog, that, yeah. The face of the franchise sitting down. What is he doing? He's always out. What is he doing? But he's carrying, Brandon Ingram's carrying the franchise, is what I'm saying. So that to me, he's the real face of the fucking franchise. CJ, look, CJ McCollum is carrying it more than he is. If we want I mean, to CJ just got there though. I mean, I mean I'm not I'm not doubting what CJ do, don't get me wrong. Okay. Hell of a shooter. Okay. He's definitely a huge contribution, but he just got there. So what was Brandon Ingram doing before he got there? He only been there like a year or two. Still he, that he year traded. two. He was still Bonds. The young fella is good, man. I didn't God say, damn, I, didn't, I never said he wasn't Shit. good. You said the face of the franchise. I just... Hey man, hey. Hey, where Tim at? Ain't his contract up or something, <laughs> man? Let's get him out of here, dog. Man. Done with it. Man, early. Man. Then maybe, hey, fire him after one week. Next. <laughs> Buy us up in Saigon. <laughs> we got a poll going now for who wins. 78% rolling with Sacktown. Man, come on, they man. They saying like the beam. Come on, we like the beam. Now I'll sense. go with my Kentucky boys, Fox, Trey Lyles. Uh, Indiana kid. Trigger Trey? Like the beam. I think they will like the beam. We had our Olympic roster. Now what you say? The Olympic, no, go ahead. I was just saying we had our uh, USA Olympic roster. 
released. The full roster, 12 All-Stars, between the guys, six championships, four MVPs, KD, LeBron, Steph, Kawhi, Embiid, Anthony Davis, Jason Tatum, the Ant-Man, Bam, Booker, Halliburton, Drew Holiday. Any snubs? No Jalen Brunson? No Jalen Brunson. Who's the center? Uh, they got AD, they got Bam. They got AD, they got Bam. No Kyrie? Embiid, Embiid as well, I'm sorry. No Kyrie? No Kyrie. Joel too. I was like, so Embiid, Bam, and AD is your backups. But yeah, no Brunson, no Paul George, no Jimmy Butler. There was some talk for Cooper Flag. Should he get a spot? Huh? No. What I like mean? Coop. That's my young fella. I mean, Leitner, they High usually put a, a collegiate kid. AD was on the Olympic team. Leitner was on they the team. They usually put a team. collegiate team kid that was left like his senior year, right? Mm -hmm. Just they ain't for the most part. For the, yeah. play the game. But I get it, though. I mean, young fella can play. You know what it's about. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Young fella can play. He'll, he'll draw. Is this the most talented? Like, guys still actively competing? Because we've talked. I think some dream team before. All those guys weren't necessarily in Amen. their prime. We talked some on uh, Gills Arena. I don't, I don't care. You say what you want. To me, shit, that's still the best Olympic team that the U.S. had with that dream team, dog. 92? Yeah, man. You, I mean, we've, we've had other good teams, mm -hmm. but shit. Even though, like, Bird was toward the end. Magic, Magic toward the end. Yeah, yeah but that's team was good. Too. But look, Jack that's what that's what made them, Jack and Hakeem. That's what made them more dangerous too. And like sixteen. And right. and that's what made them dangerous because it was more veterans. Yeah. Hmm. Opposing to a lot of the young boys, you 100%. know what I mean? Where's the uh, redeem team ranking here? Like the LeBron, Kobe, D Wade, uh, Carmelo. Did they win gold? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a that, that was a really good team too. I mean, that was a really good team. I don't know if they, they ain't better than the Dream Teams, maybe. I mean, they right there. Oh, huh, man, that's tough. I mean, this team now, like, Steph has never played Olympic stuff. Kawhi's never did Olympic stuff. And B's playing for the USA. Oh, man, you see what the guy, from, the quote from Cameroon? Mm-mm. Oh, you got to find the quote, man. <laughs> now, what he saying? What he say? One at his head. The president? I, I don't know. They was telling me. They was, we was talking about it today. And I think he said he, it was really disappointing today. Really disappointed him in Cameroon. But we got to find the quote. We got to look for the quote. Try to find the quote if y'all can. It was rumored he might play for the French team. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. At first. So it's either going to be the French team, the Cameroon team, and he decided USA. It's a, yeah. Damn, it's a bitch speaking, speaking multiple languages, huh? Yeah. yeah. Why you say that? Jesus Christ. But I mean, he play, look, he got affiliation to play with three different countries, four different countries, all that, man. But remember, the real story on there is, man, can you believe Brown will be 40? And still one of the top five guys in the league and playing for the Olympics, man. That's that's good. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy good. That's good for basketball. What? That's good for basketball. And, and, and I think four Olympics with this fur? Was that well, that was his first, right? So this is fifth, sixth. This is that's crazy. Fifth Olympics? Yeah, I think so. That's crazy. So he, he may have taken one off, but you think Braun's still top five right now? In the game? Mm -hmm. Like this version of Braun right now, top five. I think he has such a turn it on, turn it off. You like, I think he could pump it up to it, it, like, if we got a big game, I want Brian. Yeah, he's my top two or three because he can pump it up to a level. Because, but he ain't got to, you know, the numbers don't really show how good he is because you know he kind of he's older. You know, picks his spot. They yeah, picked his spot because you know yeah. he's older, but yeah, uh, he's still the most dominant player in this game. Like it's because he can score any time. He can get to any spot he wants. We can score, score whenever he wants to. He. Mm. He, he sees the game crazy still, and he still got a little bounce left in his legs. It'd be crazy how he's coming through. So, and and the way the, the they referee the game now too, he you know he got that figured out. So he man, I'm taking him over a lot of people. If I need a if I need to win a championship game, yeah 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 yeah. Bron Bron still so top five. so. Let me ask y'all this then. So out out of that whole uh, ring roster, y'all just sounded off. You just sounded mm -hmm. off that whole Olympic roster. Mm -hmm. Who you giving the last shot to? Say if it's, it's gold medal, all right, all right. Let's say it's gold medal qualifying game or some shit like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We already in the gold medal rounds and this and that, blase, blase. Or you can go with the whole scenario of fuck it. It's the gold medal, win or lose it, right here. Ooh, who y'all take? Who taking a shot? What kind of shot we need first of all? What, we we need a bucket. 
We need a two we down point. one or two. We need a bucket. What are we, we down? Tie, we down. It don't matter. We need a bucket. We if need we need a, a three, if we need a three, I'm letting Steph. I'm going. We call him to play for Steph 100,000 percent. But if we need to get a, if we down one and we need to get down, down two, we down two. You down two. Oh, we still, we still going to Brown. I'm going Kevin Durant. I mean, he might. I think it's probably my answer for two or three. Just because he could get to the line. I know he's going to hit his free throws. He can mid-range rise up over anybody. I mean, in three-point line, I might bad, go KD. can't pick a bad person, so you got, we can't lose. I, I would say KD, too. Yeah. Just for the simple fact of, of what you said, his height, with him being like seven feet, fucking seven one. Yeah. And most, most other uh, Europeans who are going to be playing that, Three, because I think KD gonna end up playing the three with that. Yeah, because that's a big roster. Yeah, yeah that's a big squad. Yeah. He gonna go back to originally playing the three, and most it ain't too many seven foot threes out here. You know what I'm saying? That move and do what he do. So it's gonna be interesting. That's a will. It's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna tune in for sure. Yeah, can we get a poll? I wonder who would chat, who would a uh, chat take? I say probably the option. What KD, LeBron, Steph. And, oh, and in there, Booker's thing. in there, Kawhi's in there, and B's yeah. in there. I mean, again, like Bonzi said, you can't go wrong with right. anybody you pick. But here's my thing, though, and what I'm not uh, 100% up on. Who's who's the rivals? Like, who's their competition? Uh, uh, France like, is going to have a really France, good France, Argentina. So whoever whoever Luca playing with. Whoever Luca <laughs> playing with. Whoever Jokic playing, playing with. with. Whoever Jokic playing with. France, like Wimbayama, Gobert, Batum, Anis in France. Uh, yeah, Team Canada has got like SGA, Jamal come. Murray, yeah. Yeah. Barrett, Edie. Canada's got a, a good squad. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, absolutely. I'm forgetting some, but like Spain's usually in it. I'm not sure their roster I, this I year. I know Argentina Spain, is usually good. They're usually too, in that mix. Mm -hmm. I think Luca was like Lithuania or something like that, maybe. Well, hey, we're going to see. I mean, it's a reason they. They called the big guns, and the big guns came out. Again, Kawhi, Steph, these guys said no for years. Like you said, Bron, 40. He done did this a hundred times. He could turn this down. They all... They know what it is. They bringing in the losing. Avengers, yeah. For real. Out of losing. But they, you can't even get close. Like, did you, did you ever play Olympic? Negative. Did you ever want to? Negative. Why? It's not my type of hype. Ain't my cup of tea. It's not what I grew up for. I ain't grow up to be an Olympian. Now, if I stay with track and field... Oh, yeah, for sure. But no, for basketball, different grind, different hustle. No, I wasn't in for no fucking Olympics. Even to, like, go with the I got dudes. asked. Yeah. I got asked to when play in it twice. When? Uh, I don't, shit, at some point when I was out there in Portland. Okay. I got asked to play in it twice. No, nah, it ain't me. Who asked you? Like, who was over it then? I know Grant Hill does the decision-making oh, no, no. now. Do you remember Dude, who asked well, Grant you? Grant was still playing at that. That's what I'm saying. Do you remember who, asked, who um, was over it then? LB asked me. Larry Brown. LB asked me. And, you know, I had to turn it down. I'm like, nah. Hmm. It ain't for me. Must be nice. I wasn't in it for that. I was, <laughs> man, I was, I'm in it. Hey, I was in it for that Larry O'Brien trophy, dog. Hmm. I wasn't in it for nothing else that came with it. All the Olympic shit. Hmm. All the all-star shit. Just give a fuck about none of that shit. It's all about that golden ball for me. Everybody else played for different reasons. That was my reason for playing. And I was fortunate enough to go one for three. Mm, my story was cute. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate you. It was cute. Damn, I, no, I'm, I was about to call him his nickname, but I can't call him his nickname on TV. What, Bonzi? <laughs> what do you mean? No, What's you know, I can't call him his other nickname on TV. <laughs> <laughs> would you have played Bonds? Like, would you like that opportunity? Because yeah. I know some people feel that way. Like, they oh, wouldn't sure. in for sure. it. I'm, Ain't nobody, you know, he, he a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I would play for sure. I would love to play. Just playing in something like that, you know, I never got a chance to play in the finals. I never won a championship, so that would have been great to be a part of that. Mm. You know, the world's watching. You know what I'm saying? It's a different type of pressure. Then being with those guys make you, you know, you kind of being with them every day. You learn something from them. You know what I'm saying? You kind of get a little bit of intel on their game a little bit because you probably never really played with those guys. So, I mean, it probably made me better as a person. You know what I'm saying? Just going through the experience. So that was, that's what I would have thought about the most, so. For sure. Was, like FIBA or U19, Pan Am, y'all never did that like coming up? None of that. Damn. Huh. The poll is spoken. The chat is spoken. Taking the last shot. Kevin Durant, 54%. Really? What's the numbers? Steph. We, Katie and Steph, that's who the chat was going crazy for. So Katie, 54. Steph, 45. Damn. For the mm. last shot.
Oh. Man. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong. Y'all have spoken. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. Whole time the Ant Man gonna step up and take that bitch. Oh man. Hey, probably. <laughs> I wouldn't like, whole, I mean, whole it ain't, time it ain't he like he it. a punk. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Moment, yeah. If he took it, I wouldn't be mad neither. Man, right. Ant Man come off that bench like D Wade was when he was coming off that bench. <laughs> like, <to> it. like <laughs> honestly, a gorilla. Nello, yeah. That's to it. That's the role to get to. Uh what? We find we got more of our Eastern Conference setup. So we'll just go through the matchups real quick. Boston will be playing the winner of Miami Chicago. Do we think the winner of the Miami Chicago has an ops? Like, does it even? Yeah. Boston. Let's go Boston. Yeah, I'm with that. What you like? We only got four or five. Like, you think they sweep them? Um, four or five games. It's gonna, it's gonna be something like that. I call it five. It could be in that neighborhood. Give them one. I give whoever. Let's go one. Yeah, we go four one. It depend on. It depend on how, how hard that that game is between uh, Miami and Chicago. Chicago. Because remember, you don't have you don't have that loan to recoup. Right. You only got what a day, day and a half, some shit like that to recoup. Boston been chilling for how long? Huh? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing first round, that's the most rest during the playoffs. So that's the one where you might get two days just because they got every single series to get in. So you might play. I don't even know if they did the schedules yet. You might get a Sunday, Wednesday, so you yeah. get a couple days and don't have to travel that far for some of these series. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. But no, it ain't gonna spread it out too far though. Uh, it's all about the ads Boston and the big bucks. Yeah, I think it's Boston either way. Yeah. The two seven. Number two Knicks, seven seventy-six. As we talked that one earlier. We, we, we got cockroaches it. on the line, yes. Cockroaches, we got them Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> man, you stupid, bro. Tell them a dead so, cockroach, dog. I'm telling you. You, you got two of me and you're gonna owe me three more tomorrow. Okay. Ration them out. It sounds it sound good. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till it's raining outside. <laughs> Mud on the ground. Man, I hope, like I hope it rain like just for like about 15 minutes, real hard, like in Miami and shit. You know how that shit come down, real tsunami like. Yeah. Hey Bonds, can I get my cockroaches outside? Nah, we gonna fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Fisticuffs. <laughs> We talked some of this one the other day. The 3-6, three, 3 Milwaukee, 6 Indiana. Indiana won the regular season series 4-1. But I'll ask y'all this. They haven't played since December. So all those games they won was pre-Doc Rivers. The Pacers didn't have Siakam. Like, yeah. that was months ago. Does that even... Like, you playing a team that you cooked early in the regular season or that cooked you, are you even really focused about December games? No, not Shouldn't at all. I'm still, I'm still going with Indiana. Mm-hmm. I gotta go. I'm gonna go with Indiana on that one too, especially with Giannis not playing. Yeah, and that's that's, that's we young hard, and hungry. Bro. We young and hungry. If he if he missed the first two games, the Bucks would have to split those. Yeah. And then if he comes back, you got to win everyone he's with. But there's a lot of if. It, yeah, and that's it's a lot crucial. of crucial. That's crucial because though, I'm telling you. See, here's one thing that analytics. This is why I don't fuck with the analytical shit. Here's one thing that analytics can't record. You can't record the heart and the hunger of a of another player. Mm. You could you could record instead of there, okay, shoot the ten free throws. You know what I'm saying? But you can't record the heart and that will of another player. Mm. Them cats is hungry. Them young boys in Indiana hungry. They I've told you they they might be the fastest team as far as getting up and down right now. Like yo. You know what I'm saying? It's, it quick, it's, and that's what it's about in a lot of cases. Quick bucks. If you ain't got time to set your D up, that's great for us. Let me get this quick lay. Uh, uh, back and forth all day. But, man, yeah, it's going to be a good one. What about the veteran experience? Like, the, you know, Brooke Lopez still hungry. You know, Middleton hungry. You know, Brooke Lopez can't Pat run Bev, with them. Dame. Brooke Dame, Lopez like, can't run with them. No, uh, see, everybody you name almost on double digit years in this league. Mm mm-hmm. right. You know, these young boys ready. They hungry, man. They, if they just don't, if they can just be able to stay in the moment and don't let it overwhelm them, oh, they're going to be fine. Mm-hmm. They're going to be fine. Just don't let the moment overwhelm them. Just go out there and hoop. Mm. Don't even, don't, just hoop. I think they'll be fine because they're young. They got that pop. Man, it's tough, man, to simulate that pop after 13, 14 years in the league. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, right. I don't care who you are. It's like, a, LeBron, it's like a sniper. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. You know, Middleton and all them guys, ah. A lot of miles. They might be able to slide twice, but that third slide, ah. You know what I'm saying? Halliburton walking by him, yeah. Ah, but go ahead, bro. You got it. You know what I mean? Hey, hey. That double jump, that, ah. 
Ah, oh, man. Oh, I, now that you ain't got that Giannis, man, dang, Giannis ain't here. It's like, huh. we play again in 48 hours? Yeah, oh, like, man, golly, man, I, can't, I ain't gonna come to the gym today. You know, it's gonna be a lot of that. So, mm. yeah, you gotta, just being, getting old sucks, as we know. It gets sucks, but mm. them young boys, they, it's almost like when we played Utah and we played against, you know, Carl yep. Malone and Carl Stockton. Malone, and Stockton. They was on their 17th, 18th year. Right. And we thinking we doing something because we over here kind of running around, running faster than the old men. You know what I'm saying? They done did, been there, done that. We don't think she like in the sixth, seventh year or fifth, sixth year. I mean, yeah, we hungry. Second, third, and we hungry. And right. we like, man, we gonna, we, we, you know, we loved them, but we like, man, we gotta retire these dudes. Like, let's man. go at them. Let's 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 young boy them. And that was our mindset. We beat them. So that's why I'm thinking the Pacers are gonna do to them, especially without Could Giannis. Be. Could be. That's a short Giannis. series, like like four one and four two. I mean, they, they, they some champions over there too, though. So I don't want to disrespect. I'm gonna say yeah, like they yeah, the majority of that yeah. team. Yeah. I'm gonna say four two. I'm gonna say four two. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say. Four. But actually, yeah, I think the Pacers will win it if it go four two. Mm -hmm. But if that's the case, I hope Milwaukee up three one. <coughs> Why? I mean, you stupid. Man, leave Doc alone, man. <laughs> who? She's guy. Who? Doc Waller. I mean, Doc Doc Rivers. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I was like, you know who he's talking about? No, I don't. Who you say? <laughs> She's man. We'll see. I'm telling you. So we don't get see. up three one. Look, I know a lot of people hate hate me and hate the shit I say probably nine times out of ten, but the shit I say is motherfucking fact and come to fruition at some point. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all hate me now. Last series in the East, four seed Cleveland, five seed Orlando. Ooh, that's a tough call. They split Ooh. the series two two. And again, this is the four or five. This is about as even as you could get. Cleveland will have their home court. So this is yeah, it's a toss up. What are we what are we thinking, chat? Cleveland, Orlando. Wow. Because Cleveland got like a little like Donovan Mitchell been to the playoffs multiple times. Cleveland was mm -hmm. in there last year. The Knicks kicked their teeth in. But they were there. Orlando's the young team, similar to Indiana, what y'all saying? The I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to Brands. go with Cleveland. You going to Cleveland? Why? I'm gonna have to go with Cleveland. Just, just from that first name you said with the playoff experience, Donovan Mitchell, he's a fucking horse. Mm. He knows what it takes. I don't think they have, Orlando has anybody that can stop him or slow him down. Um, It'll pro I mean, Jalen Suggs so, man, has had a, had a pretty good year. Almost but it's a, yeah, Suggs is a monster. He is. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like not saying he is it, but it's money time now. Who's been there? Who hasn't? I mean, you know, granted, it's it's still first round of playoffs, but who's been there? Who hasn't? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Orlando. Okay. Cause I like cause Paolo, I like Paolo, man. I, I love Paolo. You know, he we got a chance to spend some time with him during the um, Allen Iverson game. We was coaching. He was on our team. Got a chance to spend a little time with him, man. He came on our show and just I just like the type of young man he is. You know how he done turned that that franchise around. I, I love the coaching staff. You know they got some pieces around there. I think I think they might shock the world. I mean, I, Cole Anthony's good. Yeah, too. young fella Cole. Mm -hmm. Cole, another one of them guys we've seen since he was a. Where you go to kid. school? Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. high school? State. I don't know. He went to Ball State when he was first. Really? <laughs> I know Ball State did want him to come to Ball State. Probably, but I but I, I like that. It's gonna be an interesting matchup. But I got the Orlando four three four three. Ooh, it's gonna be a seven game series. This is such a this is such a coin flip. Mm -hmm. So that would be them taking. Game seven on the road. What's that first game seven like as a player? I ain't Tight, know. money on the line. Man. You know, you gotta you gotta play. You gotta play. You can I mean, even though every shot is a big shot, the possessions are gonna go down. Yeah. Um, but you gotta play. You can't think like at any point, no matter if you up or down, you can't think like, oh shit. We really need this bucket right here, you right. know, because you're putting too much pressure on yourself. No, mm -hmm. go out there and play. Just play normal. It's, it's, yeah, it's game seven. You know, it's game seven implications, and it's to the point like game three or four. I might not have dove on the floor for that ball, <laughs> but game seven, I'm got diving to. in the stands for that motherfucking got ball. To. You know what I'm saying? And it's just you. You got to leave it all out there when it comes to uh, entering in a game sevens. And man, it's as a player. As a player, it's it's shit. It's, it's you gotta look at it like the NCAA tournament. It's just win or go die. home. Yeah, <laughs> win or go home. No matter if you on the road or at home, it's win or go home. And man, but that whoo, everything like the atmosphere is thick. You know what I'm saying? Like if if you're that visiting team, 
Mm. And you're playing that game seven against a, a, a good team that has a good crowd base, good fan base. Oh, man. Ooh, that shit get to being, mm. it get to being real nice out there on that court, warm in the gym. You know what I'm saying? You get to loving it back and forth, talking shit. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm going to shut you down today. This, oh, I love it. Mm. Yeah, let's go talk. Come on, I can't wait for that record. Yeah. Toss it up. Yeah, so you want to go? Me want to go hoop right now? Hey, right dog, I'm telling man. you, man, that game seven is a different atmosphere, bro. You rather play it on the road? Like you like I don't that? Give a fuck, wherever. Man, I'm, I'm used to going into other people's gyms and kicking their ass. That was something I did back in high school all the way up. So I don't care if game seven on the road or game seven at home. If game seven at home, you're definitely going to feed into the crowd more. Hmm. Game seven on the road. I need everybody that's going to be sitting on these benches right here. Coaches, the fucking assistant trainer, all that. You, you would need all that energy because you got like, you know, 20, 30,000 fans against you. Mm. What about you prefer a game seven on the at home or on the road? I've never played any at home. I played a couple on the road and I've never won. So, and I would have loved to win at least one of them. But man, we lost that game seven in 2000. With the Lakers, and then we lost that Game Seven with in '03 with Dallas. Both on the road. On both on the road. Yeah, that, that was, was a hell of a series yeah, too. It was a hell of a series. And we, which one? Dallas. Both of them. So yeah, we both of them. So, I mean, it was it was it was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking, but it was you know, like you say, you leave everything out there. You play your hardest, but usually everybody's kind of wounded around that time. Everybody hurting. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody was hurting. Somebody had something going on, guys. It was it was a lot going on. But man, it would have felt good to win one of those just to kind of, like, man, do or die, we, you know. So, but we died every time. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. It's not funny, hey, but yeah. Hey, if we if we played then nine times out of ten, it was the Lakers. Yeah. And it's like, say we played them on like a Saturday night, and and we lost that game seven or lost that game six. Fucking Tuesday afternoon, I'm I'm. Booking flights, fuck. Babe, where we going? Where we going? <laughs> where you and the kids want to go? I want to get the booking on flights, man. That's the hurt. Just piece get the move, yeah. yeah. That's you don't the stress. So you just on vacation, sad, or that's just how you process it? No, I mean, you you expect, depend on the series, right. and and how it is. You reflecting for sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna sit there reflect on it. You know, I could have some drinks sitting on the beach. I could have a couple J's sitting on the beach, wherever. Mm. I'm definitely reflecting on the whole. I could have been, you know, for me, it's the Brian McKnight saga. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. I should have stepped up on the screen to help him more on the double team with yeah, Kobe. Right, in the second quarter. Man, I could have got this motherfucking one rebound. I'm fighting with Horace Grant and trying to get the rebound. He got the rebound over me. I could, If I would have got that rebound or if I would have made that three in the corner, yeah. man, that would have changed the tide of the game. It was already tied, this and that. You know, you go through that whole saga with the whole shoulda, coulda, wouldas. But, I mean, that's all part of it. No matter, it might not have been the game seven, but... It's just, you out this for the playoffs. You out for the season. You done. Yeah, you gonna sit on that beach or sit at the crib, like, and you gonna reflect your whole season. Like, damn, how do we lose to these motherfuckers? Mm -hmm. yeah. Then when you get with the homies, you know, you gonna have a couple brews or whatever, a couple of drinks, be like, man, how do we lose to them? Mm -hmm. And then he gonna be like, man, I don't know, yo. Like, <laughs> then it's just. So do you process that like as a team? Y'all ever like, oh, Go watch the game again, vent, talk about it, or I ain't never watched the game. Yeah, never watched it. No. I mean, I watch it by myself. Yeah, but I watch that. I watch that L by myself, and I'll sp I'll I'll grade myself and be hard as shit on myself about the whole thing I just said. The whole Brian McKnight shoulda, coulda, woulda, mm -hmm. and um, like oh. Then that's when you get to making your phone calls and say, "Hey, Bonds, my bad, dog. <laughs> I, I ain't mean it." I could have got there on that one play. I ain't mean to do that. Then you know, I'm telling you, you go through all whatever, that. Yo. Whatever, fool. <laughs> right, yeah, get off my line. Get off my yeah. line, fool. I'm gonna hear that shit. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I'm gonna yeah. hear that soft ass shit, man. Get, get out your feelings. <laughs> well, I need you to do is fight through that yeah, fucking shit, screen. I'm gonna hear that yeah. shit, man. Toughen up, chump. Block, <laughs> <laughs> buddy. Yeah, but, so you said you never, you never rewatched like a. No, no, I watch them on my own. But you know, when I when the season over for me, I'm trying to go somewhere, vacation. Like I said, I'm just trying to unplug. 
Mm. Like I'm like, so you're always in your thoughts, but you don't want to be turned on the news every, you know, if you if you're in your city and they're talking about it or the yeah, papers, yeah. you know, back then the internet wasn't popping like that. It was still early in the internet. So you look still look at the papers and then you're still going out and you you know the fans are on your head. So you just want to kind of unplug. So I unplugged all the time. I always went on vacation, try to get myself about a week, mm -hmm. try to turn the phones off and all that good stuff and just kind of unplug and then when you come back, you know what I'm saying, the smoke kind of cleared a little bit, everybody kind of moved on, so you know, you can kind of ease back into society a little bit. <laughs> Shit. Okay. We had a great unplugged session one year when uh, we didn't make the playoffs, and uh, this when Jermaine O'Neal was oh, yeah. playing with the Pacers. He was the all-star with the Pacers for mm -hmm. a few years. And, yeah. um, and man, after they got put out, we got put out, and we all ended up going on a family vacation, yo out in Italy somewhere and got a boat, got a yacht and shit, and me and this dude, we out there on these fucking jet skis, dog. Yeah. And like, we so far out on the jet skis that oh, they had to yeah. come get the little dicky boat to come get oh, us. Nah. Bruh. Like, dog, we was out there, B. Man, we got to look, I was like, man, where the, got to looking the down, oh, no. Shoot the, shoot no, the, I mean, uh, we was having fun, riding yeah. waves and shit, we wasn't even, we just kept Y'all looking back tripping, like, yeah. oh, all right, we getting further. They're but, very tiny back there. Yeah, we weren't tripping and shit, but no, it was all fun. As he said, the whole wind down moment and shit. See, he, right. he didn't do the, the, the trip justice. We was on a like a 250-foot yacht, so it was a big... You just said, yeah, we was on a boat. Yeah, That's not boat. the same. No, we was on a yacht, and we, and we, we was on there for like nine, ten Floating days. Floating craft. And what we did, we, 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 we went up the coast of Italy. We would dock in and go in shopping every single day, and we kind of everybody stayed on the boat, and we just kind of did that for nine, ten days. And you know, we all from inner city, we ain't never seen no shit. Jumping like off the fourth level, yeah, we jump off the boat. boat. We just oh, that shit we was fun. The wildest, like it was the best trip of my whole entire life. Like it was crazy. It was mm -hmm. like, and that's um, all them camaraderie things. Yeah. Like, like you know, we we all went through them battles. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you definitely got to wind down. And it makes it even greater when your fam is all fam. Mm -hmm. So. Little trips like that, you know what I'm saying? That shit. Mm. Hey, fuck, let's go. Yo, wake up. Still doing dumb shit, throwing water on motherfuckers. Yo, let's go yeah. get in the pool. Psh, throwing water, just doing time. dumb shit. It's a great time, man. I feel like you were the one throwing the water. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. So it was like a Rasheed Wallace move. You really think I would do that? Yeah. Like, you oh, really actually so think fast. that I would take like a glass of water or some <laughs> shit, and you sitting there with your lady, you really think I would douse water on That's you? what my guilty said. You think I would do that? Man, please. Me? I feel, I'm I'm appalled. <laughs> <laughs> Taken aback by these oh accusations. Gosh. But to I'm answer your question, yes, I do think you would do it. I would. Yeah. <laughs> I would. <laughs> we got Western Conference. Okay. Yes. Number one seed, OKC. Same as Boston. Like, they, they play the winner of Pelicans Kings. Do we think that the winner of either one of those has a chance against OKC? They better hope it's the Pelicans, because the Kings is going to give them, I think, a way better game. Yeah, me too. A way better game. You know, the Pelicans, of course, they they missing one of their big guns. Mm. So you definitely hoping that it's them, but they got to get past this first game. But the Kings, they, hey, Oh. Everything loaded. We lock and load. Yo, you ready? Yeah. You ready? The, you good? Your knees good? <laughs> Cause they know that they. I, I say they like the West Coast Indiana. King. King. I mean the you know, Halliburton King, Sabonis trade. They'll That's always cool. have their length. It's definitely worked. But mm -hmm. here's here's the one difference in my opinion with that though. What's... Is uh, what's the old dude? Oh, oh boy, the Black Falcon. Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes. <laughs> Man, he's, he's how'd the you one. Pull that up? I, because I every time pull. I every time I hear it, I say, why the fuck is his nickname the Black Falcon? That's a heck yeah. Of a pool. I didn't know that. That's his nickname. Yeah. Oh, Black really? Falcon. And but no, he has that championship experience. Mm. Or as we like to say, you know, as you said a minute ago, how deep can you go or do this team go in the playoffs? Yeah. He's been there with Golden State. Right. You know, when they had that very, very first run yeah. many moons ago. So he has that playoff experience. I think, as you said uh, for the last one, I think Harrison is the X factor in that in this series oh, right here. Sure. And I think out West, I think this is the whole West, the lower seeds got a great chance of upsetting that first seed. Those, sorry, those higher seeds, I'm sorry. So, I mean, it, I think if the if Sacramento does go by, I totally agree with Sheed, that's going to be a way better game and it's going to be more of a, 
a, a, a flip of the coin, but I'm, I'm still going to give it to OKC, man, because they just playing at an unbelievable level. I mean, they, they've man. been playing well. I mean, oh, you got a some few guys. days to rest. Yeah, you got some guys that's really, really tough to guard. I mean, Shea is probably one of the best one on one guys I've probably ever seen off the bounce to get to his spot and get to his shot. And I don't know if they got anybody that can stop him consistently. Mm -hmm. and, and especially with Monk being hurt. I don't know, hopefully yeah. Monk will come back for Sacramento soon. Cause, yeah, they need him. You know, you need seems, him. At least this round, it seems yeah, like he's out. Maybe you know, if they if go if deeper. It might be different, but OKC is going to be tough. You know, Chet's playing well. You know, he's played 82 mm -hmm. games. Shout out to him after being injured the whole year. Yeah, I told you know, him. Yeah, yeah, that's our yeah. guy. Yeah, Chet's our guy. And, you know, I like I like the Williams kid. You know, people, yeah, Jalen Williams. You know, I like Jalen Williams, man. He's going to be the X factor in, that, in any series. Every series, he's going to be that guy that's going to have to give him between 15 and 30. Well, let's say 18 and 30 every single night for them to really just like get to that next level. Cause you know what Shea gonna do. You know, he gets 31 exactly mm. every game. It's the craziest <laughs> right. shit I've ever seen. Right. But he gets 31 points exactly every game. If I was a gambler, I probably would bet on that. Cause <laughs> he never, yeah, he never, I think they say he's never had a 50 point game. He's, he's just consistently, he's consistently in 29, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 32, every game. It's the craziest. I'll take that thing. over for sure. 50 points this game yeah. and 10 the next, 12 the next yeah. game. Yeah, I think that consistent. So I'm, I'm gonna take OKC. You want OKC over yep. either one? I think I would go. I go the one C. Gotcha. Yeah, man, it's yeah. That's tough with them. Like I said, that's gonna be a good game. But I think OKC would want to see the Pelicans. <laughs> oh, 100 percent. No Zion. Yeah, you exactly would definitely. Yeah, hundred percent. What with the plant? Should the one C? Should they get to choose their opponent? No, no. It's all about huh? no. That's that's giving too much too much power. Should the one C? Like should OKC get to choose? The winners of it, it would be the Lakers and whoever wins Pelicans Kings. Oh, the as seven, the, eight. Oh. Yeah, as, as Celtics as well, as the one seed. Oh, have, that's should you have that right to choose? No. That's interesting. No, that's giving, that's giving too much. You, because, the one seed, you earned it. If, if no, you, fuck that. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> all that one seed going to do and them coaches going to do is want to choose the weaker opponent, the one opponent. Yeah, they, no, the matchup that makes sense. Well, damn. Would you no, want to do that? But that's no. That's why you don't do that bullshit with the opinion shit like that. Oh, we want to play this. Uh, no, nah, fuck out of here. Well, if they got all this, if they got hey, the playing gimmick and stuff, it's only gonna be one or two teams anyway. We gonna stamp this eight seed. No, nah, y'all doing too much with this shit with that. Dog. I'm with you. I, I like it. I'm just saying a little extra right, incentive. You go nice. hard all yeah, year. Lock you up home court. If I want to play the seven or eight seed, hmm? oh, hundred yeah. percent. If y'all if y'all talking about that, then I think the best thing that they should do then whoever do it like baseball. Whoever wins the All Star game, you got home court for the finals. That's the most I could see with changing any of the bullshit rules and all of that. But do we want guys that don't have any like it's guys in the All Star game hey, not gonna be playing in the finals? Well, why shit. would they? It's guys in the motherfucking MLB All Star game that's not playing in the finals. That's why they changed so, it. They were like, this is we should not do this. No. We should not give these guys oh, that's crazy. this much power. No, maybe it might maybe it might make our All Star game more competitive. Hey, man, uh, that's what I'm saying. I can't even watch it anymore because you you can't like the biggest thing is in them All Star games. Whoever wins it, you they get bread. Like you know, whoever wins uh, second place gets like maybe ten, fifteen thousand dollars. I think it's hundred k a player for winners, twenty five for losers. I do agree. Winners yeah, should get it all, and losers should get nothing. But you're saying this to guys who making. Forty-five million. Yeah, so you it ain't no they, real incentive. They ain't, ain't no, and I, I, I'm, I'm never gonna fuck. disrespect what a hundred thousand means, but for, to them, I would assume if I'm making fifty million a year, hundred thousand like, ain't uh, shit. It ain't, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping off of it like that. That's a sneeze. What about five hundred. If they raise to five hundred, I mean, it still is, don't matter if, if I'm like you said, if million. you're making fifty, sixty million a year. Man, these dudes, <laughs> these dudes got generational wealth. They got that, that mill ticket. I don't give a fuck that, about that, that mill ticket. My body, my body hurt, man. I got some millions. Man, I got no, that. Y'all go ahead and do the star star game. I'm gonna sit down. Ah, ah. Yeah. What if I had to give my own 500k to you? Like, if I'm on the uh, losing team, I have to give my personal 500k to you too. Now we talking different. State talking different. Now we talking. That's different. what I'm saying. Ain't talking pride. That, that's that's what I'm saying. I have now, to now, now double bag now hand it to you. Now we gambling. Gambling and so this the crap game now. Yep. Pretty and we gambling, so okay. No. That you, but you would care though, right? If I had to put a, I yeah, to, I'm gonna have, have to put my own yeah. money. I ain't even. Court, you gotta bring it courtside. Cash. You gotta bring it courtside. It's a duffel bag under your chair. Cash. I ain't even playing in the game. You said you're not even playing. If I got to pay five hundred thousand, if I lose, you get five hundred if you win. Shit, man, I don't know, man. That's 
I'm just guys it's will it. care though. It's no? a gamble. Guys it's will a bet. Guys will care though, right? I know, but see, I'll start. Oh yeah, huh? Right. <laughs> hey, hey, talking to yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. make those noise. Oh, that's that's come on, that's right. Yeah, that's uh, I'm gonna come back to that. <laughs> uh, <sighs> we got two seed Denver versus the seven seed Lakers. Nuggets won the season series 3-0. Swept them in the Western Conference Finals wow. last year. What kind of chance do we think the Lakers have? I'm going Brian. Yeah. You think they, again, they... It's almost like when somebody say, man, this guy's 100% for a free throw line and then he missed a free throw the <laughs> right. next one. So right. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that's going to be the case. He's never missed a field goal. I'm going to hope that's going to be the case because everybody talking about how many they lost in a row. So I'm gonna just, I am ain't going to explain it anymore. I'm going to Lakers. Mr. Wallace? I don't know, man. For me, that's that's too much of a uh, of an if factor because I think for the Lakers to get by Denver... You definitely gonna need A D. Yeah. But we all know shit, if he, you know, the wind blowing him too hard, he might get hurt. Mm. You know what I'm hey, saying? He always so, usually come back though. He play, yeah, he played a lot it of games. Depends on the injury. Depends on the injury. Yeah, yeah he, he did. I mean, yeah. when when he's in there, one thousand percent he's effective. That's and that's right. what I'm saying. That's they need him to yeah. beat Denver. But that's why I say it's too much of an if factor for me with this matchup, man. Um, but I, I understand what you're saying, Bonzi, where, shit, you can't, you can't doubt Bron, because, I mean, shit, 40-plus. Um, wow, that's, whew. I can't doubt Jokic right now, though, man. I know. That's what I'm, that's why it's so that's, fucking I, hard I, for me going... to try to choose a winner with this shit, because I know he got back up with Aaron Gordon, he's going to do his thing, then... You know, you got the Murray kid, like, pick, fuck. Take a pick, man. Golly. It's hard, man. <laughs> Flip the coin. Who did you pick? The Lakers. The I'm Lakers. going Denver. I'm going De- I Just the only reason <laughs> I'm going Denver. That's all I wanted to the hear. Only, I want all that extra stuff, brother. The only reason. No cockroaches, gentlemen? I'm going Denver is because he picked the Lakers. That's the only reason. Other than that, I would go with Lakers, but just, just, I, just, I don't like them. That's what I'm saying. Tim, if you out here somewhere <laughs> watching, we got to get rid of this cat. <laughs> you crazy as hell. 3C Minnesota, 6C Phoenix Suns. Phoenix won all three of these matchups this year, Ooh. all by double digits. Wow. So, what do we, have you ever had like a team's number in the regular season, then it flip, or vice versa? A team have y'all's number and then y'all flip it in the postseason? Yeah, that's all part of it. That's no matter, it, yeah. no matter where you play at. That's yeah, that's gonna happen. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Let me think. But I mean, Rio, I think it's a bad matchup for Minnesota. Like Cat is back, but he's I, not a hundred percent yet. Is, oh, man. Phoenix too up and down. I'm I, I'm going Phoenix in that series, cause again, like like we've been saying, as far as with the bigs and how we were talking about and B with the uh if we matched up somehow with the Pacers, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. down the line, mm-hmm. it's gonna be hard because Rudy Gobert, granted, yeah, he's a good defender, but dog, he can't get up and down that floor like that, yo. Mm-hmm. And they go five shooters, spread the floor on them. I mean, he he gonna do a whole he gonna do a whole lot of this. He gonna be stretching surfing, out, yeah. just reaching, yeah, surfing and shit like this. But I mean, if you if he playing a, a good four or a good five, depending on, cause you know they switch all the shit. Mm-hmm. If he playing a good four, or good five, who's a good corner three shooter? I mean, I don't think he can keep up with with Phoenix, man. And j- let's just say Phoenix want to go small ball and put fucking KD at the five, which they will do. That's what I'm saying. I know that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. They... And, and and Rudy Gobert, we all know on. God's green earth. He can't guard him. That he can't guard that man. Few can. I'm so that's I'm that's why I'm going with Phoenix in this one. I'm going Minnesota. Just because he went Phoenix? Okay. No, but you know, honestly, we, but I'm I'm in Atlanta. I gotta go with Ant Man. Correct. Future but, Hawk. Future but Hawk. they're not gonna put Ant Man at five if Phoenix goes small ball. But I'm going Minnesota. I'm going Minnesota. But you know who's going to be my X Factor, though, who I really, really like? Who you a factor for this series? Nah, Nas Reed. Big Jelly. Okay. Man, I really like him, man. That boy can play, man. He's going to be the X Factor for them. He, gonna... he might be six man of the year. Yeah, I, I really season. like him. I really like him. So I'm going to go Minnesota. Who Who's that? Who? who who's your X Factor? Uh, Mr. Reed. Oh. Okay. Is that is that okay? Oh, yeah, that's perfectly okay. fine. Permittable? Uh, Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> Last series. Four seed Clippers, five seed Dallas Mavericks. 
Clippers won the season series 2-1. But they're another one. They haven't played in these games since December. So who got the home? Who got the home? Who you say the five seed was Dallas? Uh, yeah, Clippers got the home got court. The home court. Kawhi good, right? Kawhi will be playing. We'll, PG we'll good, see. right? I believe PG is good. James Harden good, right? I believe they big dogs Honey is all bun. healthy. Honey bun, check now. Honey bun Harden good, right? So if all three of them is cool, I'm rolling with the Clippers. Well, let me, okay, I'm seeing now. Because this came out to Kawhi questionable for game one. Oh damn. Questionable for game one Sunday. So we got a couple, oh, damn, couple days. Damn. He may, but you know, some right, I gotta roll with. Away. I gotta yeah. roll with he will. So okay. I'm gonna have to go with that because I mean, they got they got more big guns than what huh? they they do got more big guns than what uh Dallas has. I mean, yeah, we know what Luca can do. Dallas got two really big guns. They got, they got like some I mean, but, Luke tanks. Yeah. But, but man, y'all acting like the motherfuckers for the Clippers is chop suey though. No, but we don't seen this man score 73. That's okay, but that's what he going to have to guard another motherfucker that's scoring 40 or 50. So if he get 50, I'm I mean, going Dallas. You, you go ahead. I'm going Dallas. I'm definitely going Dallas. You, 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 you. Go ahead. Mookie, buddy. come on now. Uh, you... Mookie. So yeah, no, I, 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 I got to go with the Clippers. I'm going to go with Luka and Kai. I'm going to go with Luka and Kai. They play, I think this is the third time yeah. they've played. Clippers won the first two, but I feel like Dallas getting close. Like, they, as Luka oh, yeah. get better, they get a better fit. Around. Well, you know why Dallas is, is falling short, as you said? Experience. I feel like they have that. Like, you run into the wall a couple times, lose, right. come back, get Ky better. Kyrie champion. Kyrie got that experience. Back. Kawhi champion. Yeah. So <laughs> also factual. <laughs> Where we go? I don't know. It's only you if you wanted to go shot for shot, tip for tap with that. I mean, no, 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 no. I'm <laughs> going ban for ban over here. Mm. Mm. No, I can't afford it. <laughs> We talked some downstairs, and you mentioned the guy. I'm curious to who you'll say. Who are some of the coldest guys y'all played with in y'all's era? Like, under the radar guys. Like, maybe not all-star, all-NBA. Play with? Or play with, played against. Hmm. I know one of the coldest shooters I, I actually played with that was, to me, uh, flew under the radar with a lot of people was Walt the Wizard Williams. Man, I was just about to say Wizzo. Yeah, Wizzo was that. The Wizzo was nasty. University of Maryland, dog. Yeah, Walt Wizzo. He was uh, yeah, he was one of the best underrated shooters in my opinion. And I had well, a young boy that played with me in Memphis. Man, I was just such a bucket man. And rest in peace to him. Man, this kid named Andre Emmett. You remember mm, Andre Emmett? Texas Tech. Man, listen, that boy, man. You Instant offense just add water. Yeah, he just had so much wiggle to his game. And he had hezzies and all that stuff. And he was young and I was in Memphis. I thought I was lit. And I, we play, you know how we play ones all the time. Boy, get the ah doing that stuff to me. And I never really lost a lot of ones. And it was tough really, really playing against him. Did you flag and foul him? He, he was my young boy. You know, I had to so do yes. all that. Still, teach him a lesson. I'm going to tell you another guy, too, that was really So good. yes. I don't know if you remember a guy named Mike James. You know, yeah. you know, you played with Mike. Mike won the championship. Mike James was really Mikey good. Mikey Go-Go. Yeah, black ass Mike James was really, really good. Yeah, <laughs> he was really good. That's my man. That's my man. He was a bucket, right? Shout out to Mike James. Yeah, that's my yeah, boy. That's my boy. Mike James. That's my golf partner, too. You were saying uh, Marcy Alonis. Man, Saronis, Marcy Alonis. Yeah, so we were talking about that downstairs. So for a lot of people out there that don't know, um, Saronis, Marcy Alonis, man, was, he was like, for me, the first part of the European wave yeah. from because before yeah. I even really got into basketball like that, I was a big track and field dude. Mm -hmm. So as I started to learn about basketball, you know, the different positions and hearing and listening to different people. Mm -hmm. And at this time, um, when I first saw him, he was playing out there in Golden State. Oh man. And man, sir, dog. And I think I think uh didn't Sabis play with him? Yeah. What? Yo. It's a bonus, yeah. Mm -hmm. He was, man, he was the cold damey on the running kind in the words of Pootie Tang. <laughs> he, he, he was Ginobili. Not I take. He was Ginobili Not I take. before Ginobili. Like, he was mm -hmm. doing that Ginobili because he was a lefty. So he always had this move where he going to go behind the back and he was doing all this. I mean, he might dunk on you. He's going to shoot the three. He had a Dude. little bop to his game. He was also bigger than I thought. About, like, we looked it up. Six, yeah, four, six, six, five. five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they got him listed up. But, man, had game. Pass, Barcelona. And he played with my old head, too. He played with, uh... Played with Derek Coleman, 
out there with See? the Nets and all that. I'm like, man, I think one one the, the, um at that time he was there too. Oh no, that was before Run TMC. When uh Oh yeah, well, Thrones, yeah. Out there and go. It was like right before, right? Like, yeah, I think it was yep. before that. But man, he was cold though. Yeah, really cold. He was cold. Really he's cold. one of the he's one of the forgotten as far as I don't care if you want to say European players or even, you know, NBA point guards, but he's one of the ones that a lot of these young kids should look up, yo. Yeah. The Ronis Barcelona. 100%. Because even, I was trying to see how old he was when he came over, because he had like a great career before. Yeah, he was, he was definitely he a Euro. Four time Lithuanian sports uh, men of the year, Mr. Europa, mm -hmm. MVP. He did all that, yeah, for eight years and then came to Golden State in 89. Oh, whew. Played till 97 in the league. Yeah. No, he was tough. He was a problem. Tough. Last thing before we get out of here. Oh, it's almost done? It's about that time. What? It's about that time. Something you wanted to talk about. We got a big fight coming this weekend. <laughs> you excited about Devin Haney, uh, Ryan Garcia? Hey, just know this. I'm going to have my trade like this. Saturday night. You know, I ain't, I'm... I'm gonna have to take a break from basketball. I'm gonna have my tray like this, you know, my snacks, you know, my other snacks, and you know, my water and my chips or whatever. I'm gonna have it all right there watching this fight right here. Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. I don't know how many boxing fans out there that's watching this now, but man, let me tell you this, that's gonna be a great fight right there. Who you got? That's I gotta go with Devin Haney in this one. I gotta go with the young boy. He's he tough. Undefeated. Yeah, he tough, but but it's an easy pick. No, it's not an easy pick. I'm saying Garcia because Ryan go Garcia, Garcia ain't chop suey. No, I, I know. I mean, but it's you know just from watching boxing and knowing them, I gotta go with Devin Hain Haney over this one. And uh, sheesh, I'm gonna be ready for it, man. I'm I'm excited about it. Take got a round for me? Is he, is he knocking him out? Um, no, I can't say. I'm gonna just go with the win. Gotcha. I'm gonna just go with the win because um. Ryan Garcia, he's a smart fighter, uh, great defense, and mm -hmm. you know it's going to. I think it, it it's going to take a couple speed combinations maybe to put him down, but he's just not one of those boxers who's just going to fall for a one popping shot like get hit once I'm gonna go down. No, gotcha. he's tough. Yeah. He got a chin on him. I ain't gonna hold you, <laughs> but oh man, <laughs> I'm telling you, ready for fight night? <sighs> What's today? Saturday, right? Ain't today Saturday? Oh, damn. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Still got a couple days, brother. I'm excited. Yeah, what's in your cup, man? I'm excited. Right. I'm excited. I'm telling you, y'all check it out, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. You know, for all the fans out there interested in boxing, you know. Yeah. It's going to be a good one. We got anything else, boys? That do it for us? I feel like we talked through it. Yeah, man. We talk who? We talk. I got my push-ups. I'm getting my wind back yeah. from my push-ups. Fonzie gonna give me my, my dead cockroaches. We, play we got bets. cockroaches on the line. Yeah. We got playoff basketball coming up. We got boxing. I do want to let the people know one thing before we go. I don't want to win. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's stupid. Retort uh, for what we got in I knew it. I knew it. This wasn't breaking news to you. Not at all. Not at all. Old hat. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Hey, I just want to say I love y'all, man. Y'all keep watching us. You know, we just learning, doing our thing, having fun with y'all as y'all have fun with us. You know, y'all keep coming in on the polls, keep giving us y'all uh, descriptions of, you know, what you think we should do, talk about. You know, hey, we love to hear y'all feedback, man. So yeah. make sure y'all go ahead and keep hitting us up, keep watching, keep trolling, <laughs> all that uh, young people <laughs> shit that they say and do. But, man, we ain't going nowhere. This is a killer trio right here, cuz. We'll be here yep. every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Tap in with us. If you want to join in on the uh, NBA action with Underdog, sign up, use code SHEED. They will match your first deposit up to $100. Just a use bean. code SHEED <laughs> up to a $100 deposit match. You can get audio versions of every episode of SHEED and Tyler on Spotify, Apple, wherever you get your podcasts. For SHEED, for Bonzi, for myself, for Underdog Fantasy, we appreciate y'all. We'll catch you next week. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>